Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to the video for what is the player camera manager? Stop all instances of camera shake. And that is a long name for a node. So let's go ahead and take a look at our example. We go and hit play. We hit play shake. And we're going to move the camera back and forth and we're going to adjust the field of view in and out. Now those are actually two different shakes. One is adjusting the rotation and location. It lasts for about two seconds at the beginning. And then we have the zooming in and out which lasts for about five seconds. Now if I hit stop shake, it's going to adjust the field of view immediately and stop it. But it's going to allow the other camera shaking, the first one for back and forth, to continue. And we're doing that using the stop all instances of camera shake node. So how do we use this? The stop all instances of camera shake is part of the ca player camera manager. So we're going to drag off the player camera manager and under camera shakes, we can stop all instances of camera shake. Now by default, we have a few inputs. We have the target, which of course is going to be our player camera manager. We have the shake, which is a reference to the shake class that you want to actually stop. And then we have a Boolean for immediately or not immediately stopping. Now let's see how we're using this. The shake option right here, this is what matters. We have our stop. Well, let's pull it off here and let's try this again. For the other nodes, we have the stop camera shake and that was zoom. Okay, apparently we have a key stuck down, that's helpful. Okay, so we have the stop camera shake and we have the stop all camera shake nodes. The stop camera shake will take a individual shake that has been started and stop it. The stop all camera shakes will take any camera shakes that have started on this player manager and stop them. The stop all instances will only take a specific camera shake instance. And by instance, I mean a camera shake object right here that you're using and have created. And only ones that are of that type that are playing will be stopped. So for this example, I am playing the camera shake, generic camera shake, and I am playing the generic camera shake too. So I'm playing two different ones at the same time. And down here, I'm telling it to stop the generic camera shake. And that's the one that's going to tilt my screen back and forth. Let's actually make that a bit more robust. We'll change this up to three. So that way when we play this, you can see it shaking more violently. When I hit the stop button, we're going to stop shaking violently, but we're still going to zoom in and out with our field of view shake still running. And of course, to show it in action, let's tell it to stop the second one and hit play. Now we're going to stop changing our field of view, but we'll still shake violently. Now in terms of the immediately, that's whether it immediately stops this camera shake and returns it back to the current camera position, or if it does it slowly over time. So if we notice here, my field of view immediately stops zooming in and out when I hit the stop button. If we uncheck immediately and hit play, our field of view will slowly go back to the normal point at where it should be over about roughly maybe a quarter second, half a second rather than just snapping. So it's a more, you know, smooth transition. That is, well, and then uh, so you're not gonna wrap it up, but and you also notice here, our camera shake reference, which we've created earlier for this camera shake is not being used. That's simply something for a normal stop. The stop all instances, again, takes the shake object itself. That is going to wrap up our stop all instances of camera shake node. Remember, it's part of the camera manager. You need to put in the camera shake class that you have created that you want to stop and then you can make it stop immediately or over a small amount of time.